Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Cordum and we're back for some more Baldur's Gate 1. So in the last episode we got rid of an evil demon that wanted to kill some people in Elgot's beard. And we made our way back to Baldur's Gate. We got arrested, we got freed, we discovered that the commander now in charge is the father of Chartil, but they don't really have a good relationship. And we are gonna see about Mr. Duke Elton being poisoned. I'm just wondering what's gonna happen because we're gonna go into the Flaming Fist compound. Actually, I forgot something. And in the Flaming Fist compound, there are probably going to be Flaming Fist. So be it. I'm just teleporting because I forgot something. I don't want to lose a lot of time with this. Yes. I just want to check if this guy has a scroll of uh, mass invisibility, which would be extremely useful. God damn it, sir. Well, we have some invisibility scrolls, but I don't think we have an AOE one. Yeah, god damn it. Okay, so we have none. Um, kind of a shame. Kind of a shame. Okay. <clears throat> we're gonna make do. So, so, back to where we were. Execute order and let's 66. see about the Duke. So be it. Now, the reason why I wanted the Scrolls of Invisibility or the scroll of AOE invisibility so is because... Kidding. Just checking if I don't already have it. No, of course not. Uh, if we could manage to put ourselves invisible, I would not need to run away from the Flaming Fist when we encounter them. Such insolence! His popularity may be soaring, but I'll not cast a vote for a lout such as he. The nerve of the man! <laughs> I do not care for your upper-class whining. What is your trouble, milady? If it is any of your concern, I am simply furious at that Seravok man. Ooh. I did, not, I did not raise a fortune in this city by letting such, a, um, such as he stroll off with my assets. I have had dealings with the Iron Throne Mercantile Group for some time now, and thought I did not approve of some of their other ventures. They were at least honorable business people in their contracts with me. Now that Seravok leads them, he has all but declared my previous deals null and void. You will get no sympathy from me if you lost gold dealing with a group with iron, like Iron Throne. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> if I were not already incensed at Seravok, I would stop to tear a strip off of you too. As it is, I must speak with the Grand Dukes about Seravok's conduct. Imagine! He secures himself as leader of the Iron Throne and then all but destroys its mercantile credibility by practically sacking it. He may be bolstering the city with its assets, but it is still unprofessional. Something strange is going on at that Iron Throne building, I tell you. I know their previous leadership was killed, but those members remaining would still never let such treatment come to pass. Not willingly, anyway. Ooh. So something is weird is going on at the Iron Throne building. Oh, come on. <clears throat> I don't want to deal with you guys. Uh, let me see if I can... See if I can avoid what them. Is it? Let's put some haste on us and just run past them. Yeah. So put this on and put this on and let's just run. So yeah, this is why I wanted the scroll of AOE invisibility. I must talk to no, 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 don't hit him. <laughs> These are troubled times. Ah, and here we find Tomoko. I see you have sought me out, as as I thought you would. I have things that must be said, things that are important to us both. I have but one condition to my discourse, and you must agree before I speak. I promise, a promise I seek, and I will accept no less. Kind of funny we're having just this conversation <laughs> while Flaming Fists are trying to kill us. So, I don't really care about making a promise to this lady, I can just break it, I do not care. 
You have my word that I shall honor my, pros uh, my promise as best I can. I thank you. Here is my request. Though it may, quite, they may seem quite odd, I charge you to defeat Serevok, the man behind all your woes. You must destroy his plans and stop his scheme in its tracks. You must strip him of the belief that he can succeed in his path that he follows. You must do this for me, and you must also leave him his life. I will, I will help him to live his life as a man, not as the god he thinks he can be. I do not see how such a thing is possible. He has sought to destroy me, and I have only responded in kind. Serevok seeks to destroy everyone, not just you. You are of particular interest because of your shared origins with him. Ooh. You are a possible rival, one of the few that are worthy of his personal attention. Above all else, you are family. I see this is startling news, though likely you have suspected as much. Does this disturb you? It should not. Monsters are often close to us, closer to us than we'd like to think. You are siblings, and the paths open to him are yours as well, though he has been racing down his from, down his, from his earlier days. You had Garion to guide you, did you not? Servok had no one. He draws his strength from his hatred, from the thought of rising above those he knows to be inferior. His divine blood hungers for conquest, and that is why he must be defeated, but not killed. He serves another, but does not know it. So apparently, I'm a sibling of Servox, and he thinks he's a god, and he also seems to have divine blood, which is kind of interesting. Divine blood, he serves another, of what do you speak? The child becomes the father, or desperately wishes so. The blood pulls, calls and demands. The wise Alondo did say unto the ages that the lord of murder would perish and his doom would spawn his mortal progeny. Chaos would be sown in their passage, but to what purpose? You have felt the anger and heard the offerings of power? Serevox thinks they are true, and so he seeks a senseless war and the slaughter of a scale so grand as to defy description. He thinks it will launch him to... to what? Possibly he is right, but I cannot lose him to this. Why do you oppose him when you so clearly care for his life? Serevok... Uh, I share Serevok's company and would, do so, and would do so until I die, given the choice. That is all you need to know. I would save the man within the beast he wishes to be. I do not believe he will survive his plan. It is all based on conjecture at best. He feels that he has been chosen and that he will become more than he is. I do not share this belief. Gods are not known for bequeathing their powers, especially if they have foreseen their deaths. Whatever he is, I would keep him here, grounded firmly among, among those of us that are still all flesh. I shall strive to help him and will do what I can to see that he lives. Now, of course, I'm going to try and kill him, but if I can turn her to help me instead of help him, all the better. I thank you. Serevok can be redeemed, as could you, should we... Uh, as could you, should you one day pursue the same path. For now, I shall speak of secrets to aid you. Duke Elton may be saved, but Duke Entar Silvershield has been killed outright. The murderers have acted with anonym anonymity, but I know who and where they are. You must go to the Undercellar. Return if you have already been. There you will find Slight and Christine, two unsavory beings that revel in the violence Serevok allows them to commit. They are no more than animals in human guise, even by the standards of the company they keep. Kill them, and you shall know much of the plan. If you do not know where the Undercellar is located, then go to the sewers. You will find an entrance there. They will not live another day. I shall see their heads roll. Send an animal to kill an animal. Appropriate, if unsavory. Perhaps you could... There is another that should be removed. Atop the Iron Throne base is a woman whose influence is a poison in Serevok's soul. If she were removed, I know he would listen to reason, to my pleading. Oh god. Sitandria is her name, and she holds much power in this matter. She seeks Serevok's favor as well, though she is content if he self-destructs, self so long as she profits in the deed. I must go. Serevok can I know I have helped you. Okay, so this is apparently someone in love with Serevok and does not wish him to succumb to his beastly uh, inner self, let's say. Okay. 
But we managed to make our way into the Flaming Fist compound. And hopefully the people outside will not follow us. Of course they do. Uh, gentlemen, I do not wish to fight you, okay? Just leave me alone. Let's go up to Duke Elton's quarters. Every crime must be punished. Kent. You there! Shh! Don't make too much noise. My name's Kent and I want to talk to you. What is it you want, Kent? I remember the bunch of you from when you worked for Scar and Elton. Well, since you've been gone, things have gone downhill. Elton's taken ill and he's resting in the room beside us. His healer, Rashad, keeps on saying that there's nothing he can do, but I know better. He's no healer from what I've seen. Anyhow, it don't matter. I've decided to desert the Flaming Fist because uh, before things get too hairy. I don't want to lose my life over whatever power struggle is going on in the city. Thanks for the information, Kent. Maybe we'll see each other again. Alright, I'll see you later. Good luck. Okay, so... What is going on here? Execute order 66. Rashad? Who are you? What are you doing here? We know who you are. So, you figured out the truth, meat. It will do you little good. Guards! Before my guards get here, I should be able to deal with you myself. Yep, so here we have a doppelganger. He's going to die. Very painfully. There he goes. <laughs> He dropped a pearl necklace. I, I have no more need for money, so I'm just gonna leave it there. And let's speak with Mr. Oh, Elton. So tired. So he's lying in bed, all ill and stuff. I am again in your debt. That creature has kept me helpless for too long. Perhaps if I hadn't been incapacitated, I might have been able to prevent Scar's death. Angelo will soon hear of my recovery. It is important that you take me away from here. I'm sure Angelo won't want me coherent and among the living. Take me to the Harbor Master's building. The Harbor Master is a good friend of mine. I can rest there until I'm fully recovered. Take this letter. I managed to filch it off Rashad when he was caring for me. From what I read of it, it seems that Serevok has dire plans for the city. I fear for the lives of my fellow Dukes, Leah and Belt. If they were to die, Serevok would take over the city. You must find Slyth and Kristin and stop them. Hurry, we must make haste. You want <sighs> okay, so. Don't you? We have Duke Elton in our inventory. <laughs> He's extremely weak and lies dead unconscious. I'm going to try and give him to someone else. Ah, and we also have this letter. So, copy the note. Kisha. Oh, Kiska. Ah, so this is the, the healer. I must commend you for the job well done. Without your careful ministrations, Elton would have remained my most potent foe. I must now ask for another favor. Some of your brethren are gathering at the sewer entrance to the palace. They are preparing to assassinate Grand Duchess Leia Janath and Grand Duke Belt. I need you to assist them in their efforts, for you are the craftiest of your kind. This is the moment I have long waited for, as I hope you have as well. The bloodshed that will result when I declare war on arm will be most glorious. Meet Kristen and Slight at the Undercellar. They are my best assassins. There are many access points to the Undercellar through the sewers. Okay, <clears throat> so we have this. Can I store it in here? I can, cool. So, as for Duke Elton, I'm gonna give him to Viconia. She can carry the most weight. And I'll just give these potions to Edwin. <clears throat> okay, that's fine. So, let's take Duke Elton to the Master Harbor's building. Good. I'm gonna turn off AI because I don't want to accidentally start killing these guys. Make way! Make way! Thank you. <laughs> and now, we could take a safer route by trying to go through the sewers, but I'm just gonna speed through the city. Man, Kagan is really on Speedy Gonzalez mode. Yeah, the haste spell is really working out here very well. So we now must go to the Master Harbor's building. 
and I think it's over here. Arbor Master's building, not the other way around. Of course, more Flaming Fist. But, again, they shouldn't be able to... to get to us. Oh, come on, people! Why would you think this is a good way? <laughs> oh my god. Ooh. Gentlemen, you lost you look lost, citizen. Can I be of any assistance? Uh no thank you, sir. I was just admiring the architecture. Forgive my intrusion then. Okay. <laughs> bye bye. Uh we're all fatigued because of the haste spell. Let's get inside. And we are going to speak to the Harbor Master. Nasty times are coming, I reckon. By the bitch queen's breath, that's Duke Elton you have with you. He's looking in a bad way. Leave him here with me, I'll make sure he's alright. You're the people who've been working for Scar and Elton against the Iron Throne. Well, I'm sure you have much to do, so you should get a move on it. Don't worry about Elton, I'll keep good care of him. I've got to get him to a safe place, so good luck. Okay. So we dropped off Duke Elton's body. We gained some experience, which is irrelevant because we have reached the um, I don't wanna talk. the experience cap. Wait, is someone missing here? Get out. So be it. Thank you. And now we need to go to the Undercellar and there's a way through the Low Tavern. Which we're gonna take instead of... Stop. Instead of going to the sewers. And I think we're also gonna be able to rest in here. So that's a plus. Okay, Kagan is waiting. Man, I would love for this guy to leave me alone. Can I rest here? What do you need? No. Okay, so let's... Oh, it's... this is not the place. This is not the place. The Blushing Mermaid is the place, not here. Uh, senor, please leave me alone. So be it. Please. <sighs> okay, everyone, pass. Thank you. Yeah, just say that. <laughs> okay. So, the Blushing Mermaid, if I'm not mistaken, is over here, but I need to go there through here. Okay. No, 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 no. Screw you. Okay, Blushing Mermaid. Good. Wait, there's Hassam out here. So be it. Hey again, is me a sum? I gotta talk to you. Just follow me. Okay, show us where you want us to go. Whoa! Shadow thieves? Dude! Not cool. Not cool at all. Is this bitch trying to ambush me, really? You son of a whore. Sorry for misleading you, but there are times when subtlety works better than honesty. My associates and I don't want to fight, so we could ease the tension if all of us cheated our weapons. Okay... We'll give you a chance to explain yourself. The truth this time. Woo! <clears throat> okay then, first off, my name really is Assam. I have never owned a business in Baldur's Gate. My associates and I belong to an organization called the Shadow Thieves. I'm sure you've heard of us. I'm here in the gate because of the lies being spread about our organization and the nation of Amn as a whole. I'm sure you're aware how we were framed as Amnian assassins while in Candlekeep or how the deaths of Duke Intar Silvershield and Commander Scar were blamed on the Shadow Thieves. Well, we had nothing to do with it. It seems that someone is going through a lot of trouble to create a feeling of animosity between Baldur's Gate and Amn. Amn has never been interested in a war with this city and has definitely not been responsible for all of the troubles in this region. 
All of that can be placed squarely upon the shoulders of the Iron Throne, or more specifically, Serevok. Now that I've told you who I am, perhaps you can tell me who you are. <laughs> okay. We're just mercenaries. We've been hired by Duke Elton to investigate the Iron Throne. Yeah. Mercenaries, huh? Well, your employer isn't in the best of shape right now, so perhaps you need some help. How do you plan on helping us? I've been tracking the movements of two night masks who've been operating the city of over the past few weeks. I'd say they were responsible for framing the past several murders on the Shadow Thieves. I know they've been staying at a place called the Undercellar. How about we pay them a visit? Hmm. Will they? Okay, so, <laughs> full disclosure. I have never uh, taken Hassam's questline, let's say, so far. I had never seen Shadow Thieves in Baldur's Gate 1. So this is new to me. Um, I, I, was, I was trying to rest before, but can you guys actually help? Or are you just taking me there? Okay, show us the way. Just follow us to the Ilmeta Shrine. It has one of the entrances to the Undercellar. What? So be it. So we're running around with a bunch of shadow thieves. Okay. Man, if you guys are tricking me, I'm gonna be upset. Lying? Causing terror and murder? Those are my pastimes. Okay. He's changed his tune. Here we are, the entrance is just in the back. We'll stay up here and run interference. The two you're looking for are named Slight and Christine. Talk to the priest of Ilmatter in the temple. He'll get you in the, into the Undercellar. Meet us up here when you've dealt with the assassins. Hmm. Okay, cool. I've never done this. But first I'm gonna rest. Because I want my people to not be fatigued. And also have my spells. Although I still have my spells, but... Execute order. Just 66. get them well rested. Hey, friend. Good to meet a fine Noble. Lad such as yourself. Okay. We are good. <clears throat> Let's try and see this way. I don't think I've ever good. gotten into the Undercellar through the Temple of Ill Matter. I've always gone either via the sewers or uh, via the Blushing Mermaid. Okay, so, I mean, I don't know if we're going to get ambushed to see as soon as we enter. Okay, let's talk to the priest of the matter. Arms for the poor. Ah, suffer long this unholy flesh. What the hell? Wait. I fear I will never understand your faith, brother. Our souls are tortured enough. Why is it that our flesh must also suffer? Or is it the reverse? Our flesh is tortured because our souls are not troubled by the flesh's actions. And what actions might those be, priest? Aye, but... Be gone, or, or suffer the wrath of the gods upon your sinful flesh. I never spoke to you and know you not. Um, okay, but I need to get through. Ah, okay. <laughs> Ah, it is you, the one who took such an interest in the theological nature of the flesh and its sins. There be a passageway leading off my quarters which may allow you to investigate such sins close at hand. It <clears throat> leads to a place called the Undercellar. Would you be interested in accompanying me? Uh, sure, show me the Undercellar. Come with me then. <clears throat> okay, so he just, he just ports us over here and there's a hidden door. Execute. Order 66. Ah, okay. So here, there's also gonna be a particularly nasty fight. <clears throat> so as usual, we are gonna buff Please ourselves. Protection from evil. All is good. Let's put some blur up. This time I can actually make use of Animate Dead. <coughs> Again, you 
and Edwin is gonna start buffing the motions. And now all that we're missing is what is it for now? myself and Edwin I want some mirror images. Olsa. Vaconia, you can buff yourself with armor of the faith. Actually uh remove fear first. And armor of the faith is gonna be important because one of these assassins can backstab for a whole bunch of damage and well that's not something very nice, is it? Okay, so now all that I'm missing is haste. And for that, let's remove your ring. Let's remove your ring. Get buffed and get going. Okay. <clears throat> so let's meet our friends here. The assassins. So be it. So be it. Kristen, honey, it's the heroes of the Sword Coast. They're the real deal. They're the real deal. So this is slight. Well, 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 dear. What have we here? Blade fodder? I don't know, slight. They're so big and threatening. Oh, my mistake. I was thinking of someone else. Ooh, she's got a tongue of steel and a heart of gold, my Kristen does. And she's so pretty that she makes herself all invisible so guys don't give her hassle. Not that they would with a tough guy like me looking after her, of course. Slidey baby, you tell them, honey. <laughs> oh, baby, you know me. You know your Slidey. Hey, you. Don't you go watching us go all mushy, all right? It ain't none of your business. What's that to your whispering, sweetheart? Hey, now. My girl Kristen tells me that you's all got have a soft spot for the Grand Dukes. Sure is a shame about Entar Silver Shield, isn't it? One down and two to go. Poor Dukes. Wouldn't it have been better if they had all died together? Bah, Kristen, don't give it all away like that now. It's on. What do they call that again? The Silver Bladder? Ah, enough of this cat and mouse stuff anyhow. I ain't cut out for it. We'll kill him now and do the Dukes after lunch like Sedavok said us to. Mmm, I love you for your mind slide. Okay, uh, so we have some crazy people over here. I'm gonna send to Kagan to smack him up with my axe. But first, let's actually see their their lines. Shut up and blade faster. Looks like tough times for us, honey. Hey, fellas, guess what time it is? Yep, you got it. It's time to die. <laughs> Kristen, love, keep your mind on your work. We're professionals over here. Kristen, honey, don't break down on me here. I still need your help. Shut up and blade fast. Looks like tough times. Yeah, so he sounds like a, a tough guy from the Mafia. Jean Colas. Which is very cool. <laughs> um, but yeah, so let's have Vaconia buff us up with... I forget the name. God damn it. What's the name? Defensive Harmony. Thank you. And I want my skeleton to also go and beat him up. You are so and dirty. after my people kind of get spread, or means, after my people get buffed, I, I, I will want them shit. to um, spread out a bit. In case there are some nasty effects going on top of us. Okay, so let's actually see what we've got. So we have... Christine has mirror image, shadow door, so she's invisible. Minor glow of invulnerability. Shield, protection from normal missiles, and stone skin. And Slythe quaffed a potion of magic protection. And let me just remind myself of what this does. Okay, so it gives him magic resistance plus 50%. But he should fall rather quickly to my arrows. So this really shouldn't be much of an issue. <clears throat> and I'm gonna have myself throw Greater Malison. I'm gonna have Edwin move over As here. For now. Uh, Vaconia is gonna buff us all. She just did. Run over there. 
Again, you disturb me. And I don't really like my archers being so close to each other, but let's see what we can do. Ooh. Okay, so Christine is protected from magical weapons. One thing we could do here, since he's protected from magical weapons, is actually swap our arrows back to normal arrows. Which, funny enough, we have none. God damn it. Yeah, okay. So we're gonna have to wait out these this protection unless we can hit it with remove magic. But that's not gonna be easy. Okay, so let's just continue on seeing. Well, Slight got killed really quickly. Casting Ritter Malison. Let's split up our, our archers. Where is this bitch? She's over there. Okay. So, Vaconia, you can actually break invisibility here. And let's have Chartil move over there. You can go over here. You can go over there. Corrin, you're going over there. Okay. okay. Let's see what we can find. Okay. So, she's revealed herself. She's most likely um, casting something at this point. I can just hide my archers because we cannot hit through protection from magical weapons. But I can have Edwin here spell trust the bitch. What is she casting? Remove magic at Chartil, that's absolutely fine. You're gonna be sad, lady. Remove magic. No longer invisible. My weapons are ineffective, of course. Let's see if remove magic hits and removes that protection. Okay, she's been dispelled. Let's see if we can hit her. What is this lady casting? She's aiming for Vaconia, right? Yep, she is. Interrupt her. Okay, so she's no longer immune to, sp to magic. So I can actually try and spook her. Again, you disturb me. Hopefully this lands. Oh, bitchy, what are you casting? She's casting something. I don't like what it is. Ah, an Otilux freezing sphere. Kagan save. Oh, you are so sad right now. Okay, she's panicking, but we're not gonna hit her. Actually. I have normal bullets. Ah, but she's protected against. Me. Ah, okay, never mind. We're just gonna have to wait it out. Yes, yes, lady. Weapon ineffective. She's running around. Okay, let's try and keep up with her in case we need to refresh our spook. Whoa! Spook. What is it now? Blind, I guess. Execute order 66. She saved. Not good. Go pester someone else. Okay, she doesn't seem immune anymore, I maybe. Okay, try and hit her with a, Life is adventure or the death. wand of the heavens. If it bleeds. You guys try and hit her as well. And Again, you disturb me. Yeah, so Edwin can move back. Okay, so she took them. Okay, so she no, no longer protected. Okay, she's screwed. This is now just a matter of breaking through her stone skin, which broke. And I'm gonna try and spook her again. You are so. And Edwin, you can just shoot her, I guess. Oh, and what did she say? I forgot. I nearly forgot this. 99 buckets of blood on the wall. 99 buckets of blood. <laughs> <laughs> You're all going to die. I'm going to slit your throats, open up your guts, and spoon out your brains. Ooh, blood makes me giddy. I love to see it in great big spurts. 99 buckets of blood you on the wall. 99 crazy of blood. bitch, man. Well, you're gonna see your own blood. Yeah, death by hammer. Good. 
<laughs> okay. So this fight can be a tough fight, but yeah, again, my my party is at the experience cap, so everybody is well equipped. We don't really I need to bloodshed. fear these guys at this point. Yeah. I mean, we do. We we must keep aware of what they can do, what but it's not like it's that much of a big issue at this point. Okay, so here we have a couple of scrolls. We can never mind. Identify these, um, pick these up, sure, learn it, and learn it. And this is just a sling plus one, and a dagger. I think this dagger is actually a cool dagger, but it's not really that important at this point either. Okay, so. Um, what's really important here is... This is actually a nice short sword, but I need to make space for something else. Who can take the short sword? I need an L. It weighs three pounds, of course. Kagan, as usual, cannot take it. Oh, Vakoni can. Okay. So Kagan, give me nothing. Vakoni can take it. And Edwin is going to take the letters. All right. So now, Mr. Edwin here has a letter from Saravok. Slythe, the time to strike is now. When the party commences on the night of my coronation, you will join up with my doppelganger assassins at the sewer entrance to the palace. You are to insinuate yourself into the crowd in the ballroom. When I have finished my speech, you will strike. If you aren't there, my doppelgangers will proceed without you, and your payment will be forfeit. Make sure to keep a leash on your little bitch of a wife. God damn. An invitation to the party is included with this note. This looks to be an important note, one that you should hold on to. So now they actually leave this uh, note here, just so y you wouldn't do like I did at the start of the game, where you copy the note, you think you have the relevant information, but then you actually need it to deliver to someone. And here we have an invitation. So this is an invitation to the inauguration of the newest Grand Duke of Baldur's Gate. It will be held at the Ducal Palace. Present this invitation to the guard at the gate and you will be allowed entrance. Again, this looks to be an important note, one that you should hold on to. Also gonna copy it, but I'm gonna keep it on my person. Okay, so Slythe and Christine have been dealt with. This is also a cloak of non-detection, same as, as Corrin has, okay. Uh, which we do not need, because everyone is well equipped with cloaks at this point. So we can just make our way back up. Order 66. Actually, let's go back to um, to Hassan and see what he has to say. And yeah, obviously, if you're playing this game for the first time, uh, stretching, sorry, <laughs> and you come upon this fight without pre-buffs, without knowledge of what's going on, it can go very poorly. Okay, so we are... What? Okay, I thought I was gonna... I thought I was gonna show up at the, the Temple of Ill Matter, but I guess not, so let's go... Uh, I think this is the way to the Blushing Mermaid. Guys, don't get stuck, please. Thank you. But yeah, I love these two. Their voice lines, what they have to say. Oh, I love blood. I love it in great big spurts. Crazy woman. Yeah, I think I think this is the... The guard of the blushing mermaid. Okay. So let's get up here. As usual, I'm gonna get a nice rest because I don't want to get ambushed and not have the proper spells and stuff. So, refresh your stone skin. I'm also going to do that. Okay. And let's have a nice rest here. And let's see what Hassan has to say. 
Yeah, so Kagan and Corn are really not friends. <laughs> okay. Man, I don't really know what to expect here. So I'm gonna send my people back. And Kagan can stay here. But this doesn't really look like it would go badly. Hopefully. How did you fare? Terror and murder? Those are my pastimes. Didn't want to speak over him. We killed both of them. Good. Did you find anything on their bodies? Ah, oh, you bitch. Do you want this? We found several documents spelling out their next assassination. They were to join with a group of doppelgangers to kill the two remaining Grand Dukes during the election. We also found an invitation to Seravok's coronation on their bodies. That's happening tonight! If they succeed, Seravok will have seized control of the entire city. We should move immediately. We have to get to the Dukes before it's too late. We must gain entrance to the palace. You can use the invitation you found. The rest of us will see if we can gain access through the sewers of the city. I don't know how successful we'll be, so it's really up to you, Palpatine. Okay, so this went well. They're actually trying to do something useful here. And they scurried off into the sewers. So I'm not sure if they're gonna help us, because like I said, I've never encountered uh, these Shadow Thieves in the game before. This is exciting. Every time you play this game, you find something new, is all I'm gonna, t is all I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> it also took me, I don't know how many... Um, playthroughs to actually find out the Chartil was the daughter of Angelo. So there's there's always useful and fun things to find out every time you play the game. But yeah, so we're gonna end the episode here and in the next one we are going to inf infiltrate, well not infiltrate really, we've been invited I guess. We're gonna go into the Ducal Palace and see about this new Grand Duke inauguration and try to avoid the Dukes from being murdered. So, yeah, <laughs> gonna do my usual save, 72 I believe, it's been quite a journey, so Palpatine 72. So yeah, all that's left is thank you guys for watching Baldur's Gate here with me in the channel, I hope you guys are enjoying the series, any thoughts, any questions, leave a comment, if you want to get notified about future uploads to the channel, feel free to subscribe. And I hope to see you all in the next episode. So until then, everyone, stay safe.